welcome back to another video. Oh. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what is this intro? Uh, welcome to another video. Today we're training legs. I've actually already trained legs, hence why I'm full of energy. And uh, yeah, today is posterior chain, hammies, and a bit of glutes. So I gave you the first leg workout. And a lot of you said, what about hamstrings? So I normally do legs twice a week, quad focus, anterior, and then posterior chain. And uh, yeah, I do have shorts on, I promise. It looks like I'm good. <laughs> As always, I'll give you top tips and uh, yeah, explain every single exercise. And if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to please leave a like because it helps my channel out. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Any questions, leave a comment below. Enjoy. first exercise is barbell good mornings this is a great exercise for developing the hamstrings as well as building lower back strength first make sure to brace your core and engage your glutes then hinge down whilst making sure to bend your knees slightly the crucial part of a good morning is making sure to not round your back so keep your shoulder blades back and chest up this movement also relies on your mobility so if you struggle I would suggest you keep the weight light and focus on engaging your hamstrings when you're going down. This exercise will also rely on your mobility. So if you struggle with heavy weights, I would suggest you keep the weight light and really focus on engaging your hamstrings and to perform the exercise correctly. As always, the tempo will be key when performing this exercise as we want to keep the muscle under as much tension as possible. Superset the good mornings with kettlebell swings. This is a very similar movement pattern to the good mornings. However, if you watch carefully, you would notice how I pop my hips at the top of the movement. Focus on engaging your hamstrings and really extending up as explosive as possible. The kettlebell swings are one of my absolute favorite exercises to perform and has been a major part of developing my hamstrings. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can perform this using dumbbells. If you want to learn more about kettlebell training, I have a couple videos on kettlebell workouts. Trust me, they are a lot more challenging than you think. Next is the barbell remaining deadlifts. One of the best exercises in developing hamstrings and glutes. Also great for strengthening your lower back. I like to have plates under my feet as I find it helps me really stretch the hamstrings and get better engagement. Make sure to brace your core and keep your shoulder blades back you do not want a rounded upper back when performing this exercise as then it just becomes more a lower back exercise. Make sure you squeeze your glutes because that would also engage your lower back and hamstrings, then perform the exercise. Pay attention to my form here and also with RDLs, you only need to stop just below your knees and no need to go any lower as the goal is to keep your hamstrings engaged throughout the exercise. Then at the top, notice how I squeeze my glutes as hard as possible. This is just to get a bit more of a contraction. Mm -hmm. 
Superset the RDA out with deficit reverse lunges. As you can see, I am using two stacks of plates, but you can actually make this higher. The reason being we want to increase range of motion to make the muscle work harder, which is perfect when we are trying to build muscle. This is also part of a progressive overload. We always want to progressively overload the muscle over time in order to grow. So things like increasing range of motion, time under tension, AKA tempo, drop sets, supersets are all part of progressive overload. So when writing your program, look through it and ask yourself, is there any form of progressive overload and how can I measure this? Make sure with the lunges, you squeeze your glutes at the top. Like what? Like it owes you money every single rep. Next exercise is leg curls. I prefer using the standing machine and it's simply a preference and I feel I can fully engage my hamstrings a lot better. One thing I like to do is lean forward on the machine slightly as this will immediately engage your hamstrings and glutes. Try and focus on using your hamstrings to bring that weight up and then pause and squeeze your hamstrings as hard as you can and then slowly lower the weight down whilst maintaining that contraction. Trust me, if you do this throughout the entire set, your hamstrings will hate you and good luck the next day because the doms will be fun. <laughs> Pay attention to the tempo and try and make sure you stick with it throughout. Next, we have another staple exercise in my routine, which is the barbell hip thrust. If there is an exercise that I have been doing for over 10 years that has contributed massively to my hamstrings development, it's the hip thrust. This exercise I have seen a lot of people get wrong. So here are some tips. Always start light and the light barbell should be just as strenuous on your hamstrings and glutes as when you have heavier weights on. What does this mean? Well, you remember how I have always mentioned engaging your hamstrings and glutes before you perform the exercise. Well, same applies here. Focus on slowing down that eccentric tempo. This isn't a touch and go exercise. So you want to make sure the plates don't touch the ground because we want to keep the muscle under tension throughout the exercise. Another tip is to add a one to two second pause at the top of the movement every single rep. And also make sure to keep your chin down so you avoid straining your neck. All of this, if applied, should make a difference when you perform this exercise. Then superset the hip thrust with some single leg pistols. These are a lot more challenging than it looks, especially when done right after the hip thrust. It's another great unilateral movement to really target your hamstrings. And the main reason I like to add unilateral movements into my workouts is to avoid imbalances and make sure I am working both sides equally. Make sure when you stand up, you avoid using too much momentum. So focus on engaging your hamstrings and glutes first before you perform the exercise. Try and also control the tempo on the way down. video hope you enjoyed it um, yeah. and before don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe I am struggling to keep these things <laughs> thank you so much for watching peace out